ye in sequence. Hey, what do I do? Hey. In sequence, what are the mango tree? One, two, three, four. Ah, ye. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of God the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happiness shall be your portion. Amen. You always be in joy. I tell you. You. Atoma. And your children. God will always give you joy. Every time. You know the Lord Mary. You will be happy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Christianity. Who has made Christ the leader of Christian? Everything that we want, God will grant it unto us. God, will always be with us in our houses. Trust This church that we are, God will continue to protect us and be with us. Even when we leave. That we're going to our different homes. God will continue to protect us. Jesus, that we said to protect us. For all Oh Jesus, God Himself has allowed it. And so shall it be. All the time. Our mommy, Yadra Esther Bimbola Jai. From today and sport. That's the decree of the king. We have given you a little God is in control. Let me tell you, no matter what you might be going through now, no matter what is happening in your life, no matter how pathetic your situation might be, the good news that I'm here to tell you this afternoon is that the creator of the whole universe who you are his handwork of the sixth day is in control. Sometimes you feel there is no way out. Let's go to the book of Numbers. Numbers 11, 14, verse 14. I am not able to care all these people. Oh, you listen. Moses was telling God, sometimes you say you are not able. When you reject yourself, nobody is going to raise you up. So once you sit down like this, it means devil, well done. Thank you, I surrender. Sit like a queen. I am not able to bear all this. I am not able to bear all this. Yes? Because it is too heavy for me. Because it is too heavy for me. Have you dealt this with me? Uh -huh. And if you do this with me, yes? Kill me. Hey, yes, I kill me. Thee. I beg thee. Uh, yes? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now, sometimes you feel it's too much. Sometimes you feel like telling God that God take me now. But I want to tell you this good news. God is in control. Amen. Let me tell you, the fact that you are still on your feet, you are a champion and you are a winner. The fact that you are still breathing. Let me tell you, Lazarus was even there. You are not there, you are alive. God is still in control of the situation. Oh, yes. Philippians, Philippians 4 verse 13. That's it. You read your Bible. Because you are not confident. That is why your voice is not hard. I can do all things. Through Christ. Through Christ, which strengthens me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is in control of that situation. See, you can do it. Yes. 
it's just the devil that is playing on your head until thank you until when the devil took permission from the Lord it cannot tempt Job nothing will happen aside from the creator of the whole universe but sometimes you feel how David felt, and Moses felt that Lord ah I'm tired now just kill me there will have been some people that will want to dribble him. There will be some people that will have tried to kill him. There will be at some point that will say, No. Well, then you say, What's that job? But I tell you this God is in control. Amen. Because the Lord has spoken. See, there is time for everything under the sun, according to that book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, from verse 1. The time will be gone. The situation where you are in is not going to be a permanent thing. Why? Because there is time for everything. If yesterday can be gone, and today is here, it will be gone as well. There is, there is light. And that is what I want you to have at the back of your mind. Because at the end of that tunnel, there is a line. God is in control. See, the other time, you feel as if this is your hand in this country. You were feeling at that time as if it's finished. But you escape anyways. If you can escape that one time, you can still escape. Why? Because Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ of again and again and again and again. That is why it changed not. It's the same yesterday, today and forevermore. There used to be an Olubadon. That Olubadon is gone. There used to be an Onion Fife. That one is gone. But the immortal, invisible God changed not. Nobody can take the throne from him. He's the one that is in control of what is happening in your life. Tell your partner, God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. He's your maker. Let me tell you why you have to be at rest. That God is in control. You know, on the first, you see, in the beginning, if you from the book of Genesis, the heart was empty. It was full. Let's read. I thought we are reading. Is it from in the, 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 in the beginning? God created the heavens and the He created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form. It was without form. And void. Darkness was on the foil on the face of, of the earth, on the waters. Yes? It was it was over the, face of the over the face of the water. Then God said, God said Let there be light. Let there be light. Let me tell you, the earth was empty. There was nothing. Then he started creation. First day, second day, third day. I'm telling you why you have to be at rest. That God is in control. On the sixth day, He has created everything. Everything has been created. And then on the sixth day, He created man. In his own image, he said, come, let us create man. Then the second day, or the seventh day, the resting day, your first day on earth is your resting day. Yes, you came. That second day, by the time you wake up, to be in the world, yes, is the resting day. So go and rest. Be at peace. Your first day, after we created you on the sixth day, the seventh day, as you are waking up, it's the resting day. The, God, the Lord rested. And you too rested because your creator is resting. Rest. Be at peace. Stop running after skater. Stop wasting your money. God is, con- is in control. All those money that you are sending to Nigeria, you are wasting your money. Oh. All the money you are sending to Africa, they, will work, they are working on your brain. And they say, and the police is coming. Maybe you told them before that you don't have paper. If you don't have paper, at some point they know it's just forgery. It's working on your brain. I said, are you married? Before you met that pastor, you told him already that you are married. And then he said, that's your husband. Of course, who is going to give you problem? It's your husband. Uh, and then those your children. Who else? So will an outsider give you? It's working on your brain. Develop yourself spiritually. Lean on it that God is in control. He's in charge of your life. I don't have any problem. You see me? I don't live in your home. Obviously, there are some things you just have to wake up spiritually. That, okay, what problem will you have? He has seen you. When you went to Africa, he saw you were fat. Because you were fat, at some point your knee or your back will pain you. It's obvious. 
Uh, uh, since you are having a headache, kill, it seems your back is failing. It's going to happen at some point. And that is why you have to be very, very careful. But once it's at the back of your mind, there are no shaking. My creator is in charge. He's in control. He will never leave you. Tell your neighbor, God is in control. God is in control. The famine was so critical that they were eating their children, but the Lord promised that by this time tomorrow, 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 and it happened. It's lepers that discover. Can you imagine the person you least expect that will turn your situation around, will turn it around? And that is why you cannot set your mind on anything, but set your mind on God. Don't set your mind. The book of Jeremiah, I think Jeremiah 17, 13. From a Bible that could have gone. Jeremiah 17, 13, King James Fashion. I love King because you won't miss it. 17, 13. Yes? The hope of Israel. Yes? All that forsake thee shall be ashamed. Yes. And they that depart from me shall be written in the heart. Yes. Because they have forsaken the Lord. Yes. And the fountain of living water. Yes. Heal me, O Lord. Yes. And I shall be healed. Save me. Yes. I shall be saved. Yes. Thou art my prey. Yes. Behold. Yes. Say unto me. Yes. Say the word of the Lord. Yes. Let it come now. Yes. As for me. Yes. I have no anything from being a pastor. Yes. Follow me. Yes. Have I desired the world? Yes. Yes. No way. Yes. That which came out of my lips. Yes. Was right before thee. Praise the Lord. If the Lord is, be, is for you, nobody can be against you. But after you were created, when you wake up the second day, it's your resting day. And that is why you have to be at peace with yourself. Just be there. God is in control. Yes, you are doing your effort. Your effort is praying. You fasted, you pray. And then you are going to work. Then you want to tell him, if it's by salary, if it's gathering of salary, I can't have gathered the salary like this. So it means it's only Jehovah Jireh that will bless you. And that is the person I want you to have. Total and complete trust in. Trust in him. He will never fail you. Don't trust in any pastor. Let me tell you, they are all human beings. I want you to develop yourself spiritually. God is as good to you as is as good to me. Is God of all. Hi. Personally, I am inviting you to Love of Christ Generation Church. Mondays, we have counseling. Our counseling is between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tuesdays, we have one hour with Jesus Christ. Our one hour with Jesus Christ is from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. On Wednesdays, we have our Shiloh service. Our Shiloh service is between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. Thursdays, we have Bible studies. Every Friday, we have night vigil. 12 a.m. to 4.35 a.m. Then Saturday's counseling, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Every Sunday, 11 o'clock, we start our full English worship from 11 to 11.30 then 11.30 Bible studies again. Then from 12 p.m. we start our worship till 4 p.m. Love of Christ Generation Church. Personally, I welcome you to the presence of the Lord. Thank you for coming.